I'm gonna try this out. One thing that was wild about this game is there is over, uh, as, I, as I recall it, there was like over 100 talent trees. Yeah, did that get your attention? All right, so here we go. Okay, and marker, all right. Okay, so how do I want to do this? So there's a marker for bird tree, so. All right, so this is last epoch. It is a bit loud, we're going to adjust that. I can already see they have cleaned up this game a lot. So every ability in this game has a talent tree. The last time uh, I tried this game out, this guy was av uh, available to play, but he only had like one skill tree. It looks like he's got two now. Oh my God. Uh, this person didn't exist. This person is kind of like a paladin. It's called a sentinel. Okay, he's been fleshed out a lot. He was missing some stuff. Path of Exile and Steroids. It's, it's different. So Path of Exile has the Giga talent tree, right? This game, in, in, you have small talent trees like for your class, but you also have talent trees for each skill. I remember this guy with the uh, Sabertooth Tiger. You could have a uh, one of its talents made it a uh, ice tiger, and then it did cold damage. Um, but of course, being you know who I am, I, I love my summon builds. This lady can become a necromancer. She very much uses disposable minions. She just yeets minions that die over and over and over and over and over at the enemy. Um, the other guy with the animals wants to keep his pets alive, kind of like a mechanist. Some, some interesting mechanics that they've got in this game. Listen to this. Assemble Abomination. Hold ability down to channel to absorb your minions in a moderate area. Imagine all your skeletons just getting pulled together. When you release, summon a hulking abomination with added health and damage per minion you absorbed. You literally just glue all your minions together into a giant ball. Uh, but it decays over time. So that's a, that's a thing, a theme with her. A lot of her ab abilities decay over time. Um, oh, I just noticed this guy hugging her leg. She has a Lich skill tree where she can turn into a Reaper, and she's got one called a Warlock. Now, the chains that are over it, I think that might mean that that's not done yet, because this is early access. Um... So Rogue, Rogue has a thing called Falconer that's not available right now. And then we have Primalist. Um, the Primalist and the Necro were the two I liked playing last time I tried this, but it has changed a lot. So we've got Beastmaster, which has got summons. Now the thing is, if the, if the minions die on a Primalist, he wants to go revive them. Uh, for you Guild Wars 2 players, imagine like when an ally goes down state and you run up to them and you tap the F key, it's similar to that. Like you care about your minions staying alive on this guy. Uh, Shaman is like shooting lightning. Uh, Druid is very new. You can shapeshift. Think like the Diablo 2 Druid. Uh, turn into a weir bear. Summon a Spriggan. You can summon like a plant elemental thing. But a, a lot of this stuff is new. So I would like to try this fella out more than it slightly more than the necro so i'm gonna make this guy and we're gonna see how this goes uh standard hardcore I, I like that they offer both of the two genders here uh solo this character will not have access to items resources collected on any other characters um I, i'll uncheck that um i this is my only tune right now but we'll see what for anyone who th might be overthinking that joke that was if, if any of you have ever seen it uh hold on a sec Grim Dawn character creation. Uh, genders. There's a running joke with uh, Grim Dawn. And Grim Dawn, when you make a character, there is a pop up that. Oh, why did this open up a freaking video? Hang on a second. I'm trying to open a screenshot of it. Okay. It's hard to see. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Right here, Grim Dawn, when you make a new tune. It, it says male, female, hardcore, but the, the it, it's like a little too close together. So there's a running joke with Grim Dawn where it goes, ah, yes, finally a game that offers all three of the genders. <laughs> like, oh, yes, I identify as hardcore. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that was that was the reference there. Don't overthink it. That's all I'm up. 
All right, so I'm a nub, so I'll just do standard right now. I am a primalist. Oh, this is completely new. One of the wilds, the link between the people of my tribe and the spirits of the land. Ooh. <laughs> I was returning to my home in Heoboria from a hunt, only to find flames and destruction arrayed by the forces of Raya. My home and my family had been turned to ash. The call came for the tribes to unite, but I am drawn elsewhere. Now I am traveling to the Temple of Eterra in search of answers from the Mother Goddess and the strength to take my vengeance. Okay, so his backstory is basically Bram. We'll see if he's smarter than that. <laughs> Let me, I'm gonna move chat down a little bit just for screen real estate. Okay. The road to Welrun. Uh, movement. Left click or use the joystick on your gamepad to move. Uh, simple enough. All right, what skills we got? Uh, right click to attack, left click to move. Um, can I put attack on left click? Let me see. Uh, is there a key bindings? Change input keys? That's interesting. Can I bind both to left click? Vengeance. Hmm. I'll leave. Okay, I'll leave it for now. All right. Uh, Q. Summon wolf. Oh, we start with this summon. My favorite. Summon a primal wolf that follows you into combat. When its health drops to zero, it is downed, and you can stand near it to revive it. You can have a max of two companions out at a time. Can I have two wolves out at a time though? Uh, oh, the it, the key flipped over. It became a new thing. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Manson. Uh, howl. Your wolves howl to embolden themselves and allies around them, granting them frenzy and doing 50% increased damage for three seconds. Okay, so I like that. So that's similar to Necromancer minions of Guild Wars 2 when, they, when they're summoned, uh, a new ability appears. The spirits of my family. The Temple of Eterra will have my Tab is minimap. Club. Uh, looks like we might have some natural health regen. Uh, I can see the wolf's health bar in the top left. I like that. What, let me see. If I back away, I'm going to let the wolf get hit. I want to see... Yes. Okay, so the wolf has natural hit point regen. That's a pleasant surprise. A lot of games, you have either really weak hit point regen or none at all at the low levels. And it looks like I've got hit point regen too. Level two, skill unlocked ice thorns. Release a burst of homing ice thorns that deal physical and cold damage on hit and have a freeze rate of 18. <laughs> He's like, Ugh, and then they just Nova out from him. Okay. Let's see. Uh, base attack rate 1.05.98. Can he dual wield? No, guess not. All right. Oh, I saw one of them get frozen there. Oh, it looks like if I hold down the skill, it fires additional shots more rapidly after the first shot. Man, this is really forgiving. Like, the mana cost is so low, I can just, like, hold it down. Yeah, I can see the, the tracking. Okay, import. Oh, nice. So, muscle memory made me zoom in there, and it does work. You do actually see gloves and stuff when you equip them. I love that. There's a lot of uh, action RPGs that don't have the, those little details, so it's nice to see that. Global chat in game. I believe so. I did see some other people talking just a second ago. Okay, Traveler's Camp. 
Divine Era, uh, around 12 BE. Oh, that's important. Last epoch, um, time travel is an important part of the story. One thing I remember from the alpha version of the game is a specific incidence where I got to this ruin and I needed to get inside and I couldn't in. Couldn't get, couldn't get into it. And we traveled to an earlier time where it wasn't a ruin and it was a common place, stole a key, traveled back to present time, and then we were able to get into the ruin when we needed to. Not only where we needed to, but when we needed to. All right, so there's a stash. Speak with Trader Corden. Greetings, traveler. Hello, fellow, uh, fellow weary traveler. Care to see my wares? All right, can I sell this? Let's see. Now I'm curious. The damage of our spells and stuff. Does it scale with weapon like many other games, or is it independent of that? It says 29 DPS on Ice Thorns, even when I unequip the axe, so it might not be related to that at all. Okay. Oh, there was an appearance tab, too. Oh, wow. So that's like hat, armor, sword, offhand, boots, gloves, something that looks like a banner and another banner. I don't know what those are. Skill effects. Okay, so that's similar to like Path of Exile where you can like, you know, spend a couple bucks to get a uh, different spell of graphics. These backwoods simply cannot end soon enough. Majelka awaits my return. Why would a city of Majelka be waiting on you? The Temple of Majessa is at odds with commoners once again. It is my duty as an artiste to bridge the gap with my talents, my vision. Our guide insists that the gates to the city are barred and that I am wasting my time. But that's ridiculous. I've paid my tithe to the Diamond Matrons. They would never turn me away. Hmm... What's this? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'll take that. What's this? Oh, it's like breakable stuff. Let's see. Most abilities will tell you what it scales with. For example, Skeleton Mage scales with Int on Necro. Um, scaling tags. Physical, cold, spell, or attunement. Oh, I like that. Uh, so if I had something that flat out said, uh, like, plus. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. So the weapon tells you, like, rough, like, damage and stuff, but it calculates DPS down there. What does this do? Plus three adaptive spell damage. Oh, that increased the damage of Ice Thorns. That increased the damage of Ice Thorns a lot. Okay, so the two-hander does the most. All right, and then I'll sell the rest of it. Oh, that is very cool, very cool. Care to see my wares? Oh wait, okay, so right-click will equip the item. What about shift-right-click? Sh there we go. Shift-right-click is sell. Carry on then. Oh, look at this thing. He's got like an ankly ankylosaurus. Don't mind me, just breaking everything. All right, continue east through the southern plateau. I realized there were some other people there that we could talk to, chat, but I'm really excited to try out these spells and abilities and stuff, so I'm gonna keep going. Typical Norn arrives on camp, soul stuff, start breaking resource for people. Yep, I'm role-playing the race perfectly right now. I gotta say, if the first boss is freezable, they're gonna be in for a bad time. I'm, I can just spam my level 2 ability on him. It's a bear! Skill unlocked. Fury Leap. You gain a passive point. Click on this button to spend it to enhance and customize your character. Passive System Introduction. Gaining passive node points. Gain passive points by leveling up and completing quests. Mastery points. Currently you have access uh, to your base class passives. You will have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Once you choose a mastery class, you will gain access to the left section of each mastery and the right section of your chosen mastery. Okay. Um, so like there's beast master and druid. And this is very different from what I remember. They completely changed this. All right, so what do we got? So Gift of the Wilderness is the health of Pet and me. Um, natural Attunement is... What is Attunement? 
Each point of attunement grants two mana and improves skills that rely on magic inside you and your surroundings, such as Ice Thorns and Summon Thorn Totem. Primal Strength. Uh, each point of strength increases armor by 4% and improves skills that rely on raw strength, such as Swipe and Summon Wolf. Oh, your muscles make your summons do more damage. Yo, I might actually, like, get, you know, be able to stick to a workout routine if I had some, like, butler that, that got better at his job every time I lifted. <laughs> I think I could actually stick with the routine at that point. Okay. Uh, hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do Primal Strength for now. I wonder if the game has a respec option. I, I, I hope it does. Like if I if I like make you know some bad choices now, I hope that later on I get the chance to change it. Okay, so it looks like I can hold two health bots. What does the Fury Leaf do? Leap to the target location doing damage to nearby enemies when you hit the ground. Found a shield. Mutt goes to the gym, knocks and gets a puff. Ah, uh, Fury Leap has a bit of a cooldown. Shut up and take my prime. <laughs> Serial, thank you, buddy. Muggle Douglas, but that'll be Reginald Esquire the fourth. This is John Savage Simples the third. Walk of you, Serial. Back to the lab. Hope you enjoy your say entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the bakers giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but alone you need the edge. Mm. Uh skill specialization slot. Visit the skills panel by pressing S. Skill system introduction. View augment trees. Click on a skill. Use a new skill. Click on the action bar slot to access the skill selection panel. Specializing skills. You can specialize in up to five skills by clicking on an unlock specialization slot located above which unlock as you level up. Specializing in a skill will allow you to gain skill points for that skill by earning experience for which you can empower and augment it. Okay. Um... So let's click on Summon Wolf. Oh, this is the part I remember, chat. This is the part I remember. So, yeah. So these are the talents within this skill. Wolves have more dodge chance. I almost read that as doge chance. That would be funny to purposely put that there. Your wolves cannot be stunned. More attack and movement speed. More damage. Leap attack. Crippling wounds. Wolves can slow on hit and bleed. You can summon wolves up to your max number of companions. So this is just more wolves. Um, wolves deal more bleed damage and damage over time. You can have dot pets. Victory House Snarl deal more damage. Frozen Fangs. Wolves melee attacks have a chance to be an ice bite, which does more damage and converts damage to cold. Winterborn Storm Pack Numbers. You can have an additional wolf active at a time. You can have an additional companion out. Stormcaller's Reprisal. Wolves have a chance to retaliate with lightning one hit. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Uh, summon Thorn Totem. Summons a totem that fires thorns nearby enemies. You can have a max of two Thorn Totems by default. Um, minion Tags Physical and Spell. Wait, does that mean... Wait, hold on a sec. How do I... Crap. Okay, so P for this screen. Physical and spell. So does strength buff physical? It doesn't show the damage per second on that. It's a spiky boy. Okay, S for this. Um, all right, so the Thorn Totem costs less mana. You regain mana when destroyed. They last longer, have more health. You can summon maximum of Thorn Totems all at once in a ring around the target location. Uh, rotten Core, when they die, they release a poison burst. They have a chance to poison enemies. Poison lasts longer. Icy thorns instead, they chill. A lot of crazy stuff in here. All right, for now, I can specialize in one. 
I'm going to start with the wolf. And I have one unspent point. Oh, gosh. Um... Have more wolves up to companion limit, or can have an additional companion active at once. The extra wolf counts toward your companion limit. It's weird that the icon for this is a thorn totem. I wonder if that was a, a, on purpose. Well, it seems like... I can respec at any time. D specialized skill removes all skill points and experience from this skill and allows you to specialize in another skill in its place at minimum skill level. Remove skill points reduces the level by one. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, wolves have increased attack and movement speed. Wolves have increased dodge chance. Let's go for that for now. Hey Mike, how's it going? Is this a DNDS game? Seems familiar. Uh, this is a ARPG. So think, um, you know, uh, Path of Exile, Diablo, stuff like that. I played it like a year ago, and it's an early access, but it has uh, grown a lot since then. Oh, actually running out of mana. How much is the totem? A l the leap takes a lot. It's the only way to travel. Osprex warrior. They took her. The shard is in danger. What did they take? Lena, my daughter. There's only so long before they find out she has the shard. There's a little time. Please help us. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Forgive me for laying this fate upon you. The Ultari Cliffs. Divine Era. Actually taking some damage now. Uh, it does do auto pickup on gold. That's nice. You've reached level five and unlocked swipe. This skill has replaced basic attack on your bar. Okay. What's it read? Melee attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you unaffected by weapon range. Well, it kind of staggers them a little bit too. I don't know if I would rate it better than this freeze right now, but... Just because this comes with CC. I forgot the wolf howl boosts damage. I should be using that. Out of mana. Oh, 
Alright, so I can have two thorn totems out at a time. And I can still hit him in the air. So he's not like a certain branded griffin we all know and hate. You can actually hit him while he's in the air. Um, is there... Oh, control to compare items. Let me see. 92 becomes 71. Oh, that's a downgrade. What is this thing? Oh, it goes there. Primalist Relic. It's a dream catcher. Okay. Did Balthus send you? Uh, I see. Raya's forces are not finished with us. We don't have much time before more of them arrive. What do we do? Raya's forces are not finished with us. We don't Please, have much time take the shard with you and protect it with your life. I'll distract the reinforcements. Quick, use the shard. Before you lies the relic the woman was holding. Now that it is away from her, it burns with a light that seems to call to you. Take it. Oh, that, that looks completely normal. Anybody remember an old show called Sliders? <laughs> Quest complete. Experience gold. So... All right, so I remember the basis of this. We're in the same spot, but the question now is not where are we, but when are we? What is this place? Explore your surroundings. They are in pain. Hello. Bless Terra's name. What are you doing out here? Only rangers and elders are allowed out here, and you don't look like a cultist. Come on, let me escort you back to last re last refuge. Okay. Race you. Wait, what is that icon on the mini map? Stunning Shrine. Gain a higher chance to stun for its duration. Someone said, I think there's a brain icon. Oh, yeah, what is this? Oh, it's this thing. Did the wolf level up? Wolves have more damage and dodge rating, multiplicative with other modifiers. This bonus is tripled for wolves that have howled recently. Oh, do I, oh, do I have to max this out to go to the next thing? Oh, it's right there. So after four points here, you can go to the next thing. And then after one point, you could go to that. Okay. Yellow item, that's only the second one we've seen so far. So... Let me see. All right, so 93, 72, 31. Okay, so we'll keep that. Wait, was that an amulet? Increase cast speed. Where'd the yellow thing? Oh, we got, oh, it was a hat. It's my first hat, so it automatically equipped. You can respect top right of the skill tree window. Um, I didn't, so yeah, respecking here, it's obvious, it says it right there. I was talking about this. I was wondering if you could respect this. Oh. Got a staff. Nope. Doesn't beat the axe yet. Hi. Terra, watch over you. 
You there, I do not recognize you, but do not tell me that guard led a cultist straight to us. Wait, I sense something strange about you. Is that the shark? Someone told me to protect it. Protect it? We need it to protect us. The fact that it is not in the council chambers must be why the war